Hey YouTube, uh, just a really quick video. Um, uh, I wanted to share something really cool with you guys. Um, it's how I wash my fruits and vegetables. Uh, usually I use water, of course, but sometimes when I make a smoothie, uh, when I cook, I just use water. But when I make myself a smoothie, since I really, I'm gonna uh, use it raw. What I've been doing lately is I sometimes uh, take uh, a, a cap of um, vinegar and um, apple cider vinegar and with with um, as much water as I need to wash it out like 16 ounces or so and then I wash my vegetables my kale my apples and my um, my uh, um, strawberries and what it does is it it helps remove the fungus yeah the the vinegar reacts with the fungus that's on the plants because even though you have um, organic fruits and vegetables um, there are sometimes the way the grounds are the plants might still soak up some things that might make them vulnerable to fungi or they might get it some other way or you might just be using regular fruit and vegetables which one shouldn't demonize anything you know like because some people you know you want to live healthy you're starting to eat fruits and vegetables and the thought matters that's good so don't let anybody make you feel bad that you're using um, supermarket um, fruits and vegetables you know there's nothing wrong with that because it's the thought that starts of course there are things in there and there's so much going on and people say but if if you just can't afford it you can't afford it but eating fruits and vegetables from the supermarket compared to going to McDonald's eating fast food and all of those things is still a whole world of a difference and when the time comes and maybe who knows with a clearer mind healthier body you might find ways and possibilities to get your organic foods but anyway so I just wanted to share with you guys how I clean my fruits. Yeah, so this is the vinegar I like using, the Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. I'm sure there's many others you can use, but as far as I know, this one is good because it says with the mother. So it's unpasteurized and naturally gluten-free. And the mother is actually, if you see the stuff down here, that's the stuff that's, that's all the goodies that's actually this vinegar and makes it so, so good, like the enzymes that come with it. Okay. So I'm using about a cap of the apple cider vinegar and I'm going to mix that with about uh, 8 to 16 ounces of water. Uh, a cap, I measured it, is about a teaspoon of vinegar. So two caps would be a tablespoon. And then we're going to put in some uh, water. Um, just to rinse my stuff off, uh, that should be enough. That's about, yeah, about. Alright, so um, I go ahead and I take my fruits just chuck them all into the water apple the kale or spinach any leafy greens I want to wash and then I just uh, I go through there and I, I rinse off my vegetables yeah I'll rinse it off rinse it off you know. let it soak for a moment give it a nice nice rinse and um, in addition to washing the fruit of course you know I do this this is not I don't do this to clean the fruit I, I try and do that with the water there's only so much you can clean on the surface if something is really diluted with with pesticides or so you can't wash that out but for the things that um, accumulate on the surface like fungi um, this is the main reason I do it and then yeah um, once that's done I uh, use, uh, I have a pot that I use for steaming vegetables. Um, you can use any strainer, it's just convenient because it comes with a strainer. Hello. And then I strain it. Yeah. And this is a great thing, like if you have a, if you have a child, you can um, let them play with you and they get to know what vegetables are, what um, strawberries are, yeah, strawberry, what kale is, and yeah, they really get to appreciate wash, these things. Wash, 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 and um, wash. Wash, that's right. And you guys take care and wash, wash, wash your vegetables. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this is the smoothie I uh, just made with all the ingredients. The strawberries, the kale, um, a banana, and uh, about half an apple. And some um, hemp seeds. Yeah. Um, 
you can be variable with your in amounts of ingredients. Uh, hemp seeds I usually go for three tablespoons. The um, the kale I go for about a cup and a half. I just use my hand, so everyone's different. It's a good measurement. Just use your hand. If you're a bigger body, your hand's bigger, and you'll also use a little bit more of the ingredients. And apples, uh, I use about half an apple because by the time I put the apples in, it's, it's full. And what I did, I, I saw it works good because I was doing it with my son. Um, so I was throwing in the kale and he was throwing in the strawberries so it kind of layered itself, which which worked well uh, for fitting everything in. So I'm gonna try this now and I'm um, sure it's gonna taste really good. And yeah, go ahead and try out um, this way of washing your vegetables with apple cider vinegar.